YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one like this, talking straight to the camera. If you watch my videos, you'll notice that I am somewhere else. Uh, I'm just filming in my room now because it's easier. I've got this light setup going on and giving me quite a cinematic look. Recently went to the YouTube space in London again, and this time was to do a bit of a course on lighting. Now, here's something you probably don't know about me. I did a technical theatre course at college, which covered lighting, yet I learned more in one night at YouTube than I did in my whole year at college. But the course at YouTube was specifically to do with vlogging lighting, so yeah, here we go. Now, if you saw my video the other day at Crep City, you see that I teased you guys uh, with my pickups at the end of the video. You saw me getting on the train with two boxes, but I never actually showed you guys what I got. Today, I'm going to be showing you them. They're in the back there, along with two other pairs that I picked up recently. So here are a little sneak preview at the boxes. Getting into the first one, I'm just going to pick the one off the top. Actually, no, let's do it in order from my least favourite to my favourite. So stick around to the end to see the best pair of shoes. Okay, I'm just gonna put these back. Starting off is a pickup from Crep City. I picked these up for only £80. I was about to leave and I saw these and they really caught my attention. They are a pair of size exclusive Nike blazers. I know blazers went out of trend like three or four years ago, but the thing is I never owned a pair. I never jumped on the hype. The only reason I like these is because of the colorway. And I think this size logo on the back is awesome. All I could think about when I bought these was wearing it with my Vlown V-Lone t-shirt. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the leather on this is super nice. So yeah, I only paid 80 for these, which I thought was a really good price. Better than like the 900 I wanted to drop on the actual Vlone Air Forces. So yeah, happy with them. I probably won't wear them much, but for that price, you can't really complain. Next was a tough decision. I wasn't sure if it would be these or another pair that should go in third spot. You see that Reebok box, Reebok classic but not just Reebok, Reebok Gosha. Got the text on the back there, these are super clean. So for these I paid 180 which is kind of about the price that they go for. They were pretty good condition when I bought them but I actually wore these to Crep City and the materials creased quite a bit but they look good on feet. Out of all the Gosha, right I need someone to explain to me how to say Gosha or Gosha and how to say Vlone or Vlone. I'm pretty sure it's Vlone and Gosha but I prefer saying Vlone and Gosha. Anyway out of all the pairs of Gosha, Gosha Reebok that I've seen these are my favourite and a pair popped up and it wasn't like a really good price but I had the money and I was like Let's just do it. So yeah, got them, wore them to Crep City, um, along with, what did I wear? By the way, if you're wondering, I have Gosha Reeboks on feet, this pair of Dickies. One, two, archive hoodie, and this M plus RC vest thing. Next pair now, Adidas Raf. These are also a pair that I didn't get at Crep City, they arrived before. Funny story, I filmed an unboxing for these and the Gosha Reeboks because they turned up on the same day, uh, but after I filmed it, I went to edit it and realized I filmed it all out of focus. So yeah, I thought I'd just put this all into one big video for you guys. Getting into it now, these actually only cost me 100 Retail is 200 These are the Raf Simmons Matrix. They're kind of like a Converse high top shoe, but they've got a different shape, and I love these. That has RS on, and the other one has an Adidas logo. So yeah, retail for these is 200 I got them for 100 basically VNDS condition. I've already worn these twice um, since I got them. They just go really well with what trousers I have to wear. I've been wearing a lot of my Commodore Garçons Converse recently and like Vans, like more sleek things. So these fit perfectly into my collection. Plus they're only 100 and I prefer them more than the Reeboks that were 180 so can't complain again. Last but definitely not least, in fact last but least least, are this pair of Nike Air Force acronyms. Now I have wanted a pair of these for ages, I even was planning to do a bit of a vlog for Crep City and I filmed this before I went into the event. What I'm looking for, I really want them Nike Air Force One Commodore Garçons. Also, some Nike Air Force One acronyms. So I actually wanted a pair before I got in there, um, and I got one of my favorite pairs. Just gonna let the shoe talk for itself. So this is the pair with that material in the inside that not a lot of them have. These and just the black ones are my favorite colorways. They're just so nice. They also go really well with everything that I have in my wardrobe at the moment, like vans and stuff there. I mean, these aren't as sleek, but they're like not a weird shape, they're like a classic silhouette. Bit more expensive these, uh, the guy wanted 260 
and I was like, nah, I can't do 260, even though I could, and I really wanted him, but you know, a bit of a negotiator, so I was like, uh, two, 230, and he was like 250, we ended up, I ended up paying 240 for these, and the funny thing is, these are a size 7, I walked past the guy's store a few times, because I saw them and I asked what size they were and he said size 7 and I'm a size 8 so I was like fuck because they were the only pair I actually saw there so I was like oh, okay and then I didn't buy anything and I came back and I was like can I just try them on because I'm an 8 so I, ha I didn't think these would fit at all I don't own any shoes that are a 7 I think I have like one or two pairs of seven and a half. but I tried them on and they fit really big so these are actually the size that I wanted a 7 I've been looking to get another pair since then just a black pair and everything I have seen has say go a size down. So yeah, I nearly didn't get these because I nearly didn't try them on, but I'm super happy I did and I'm super happy I picked them up. They're my four latest sneaker pickups. Uh, what have you guys picked up recently? I'd love to know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoyed what I brought. If you haven't seen the Crep City video already, then I'll put the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.